Hi, Stephen here from In Exteriors Painters and Decorators and you're watching In Exteriors TV. In this video we're going to be painting behind a radiator without removing it. If you would like to purchase some of the similar tools that are used for this task please feel free to check out the links in the description below and also if you're planning on doing any other decorating works please feel free to visit my tool store. The links are also in the description below. So with that said Let's do this. Here are some of the tools you might need and will need. So what we've got is a long arm rad roller, a Fitch paintbrush, an inch paintbrush and a roller bucket. This is the radiator we need to paint behind and as you can see it looks quite tight to the wall. And also at this present moment in time we can't get the roller down the back of it or in the side of it. First of all, I remove this thermostat because I want to paint behind that as well and not make a mess of it. Then I'll get this side bit and give it a little pull. But this is a little bit tougher than most of them that I've come across. I've got to try something different. Right, I didn't want to pull the radiator to the point that I'm pulling it off the wall. So what I did was got this screwdriver and stuck it in and levered it off. Now we're able to unclip the top grill and then repeat the process on the other side of the radiator by levering it off. Then take these plastic bits out that the top bit clips into, remembering where to put them back. Now we can get the roller in at the side and we can get it in down the back of it. If you'd like to watch some more videos on painting behind a radiator or painting behind a towel rail, the videos will pop up at the end of this video on an end screen. Right, now it's time to paint behind the back of this radiator. Look, you might get the odd bit on right at the back of the radiator of paint, but you're not gonna see it. But also what I like to do is paint the radiator brackets in because when you walk up and see them from like a side angle like this one would be I'd rather see pure pink rather than a bit of metal, bit of pink, bit of metal, bit of pink so it just look better fully painted in. Look you might also say Stephen why didn't you paint behind the radiator before it went on? Or why don't you take the radiator off? Well the situation with this one was was that we was having two radiators fitted and we didn't have the colour chose to paint behind this radiator and also I'm not a plumber so I don't want to mess around taking um, radiators off when I knew that we'd be able to paint behind this and, and, the, and the world ain't perfect as well you know you've just got to make do and just make it happen the best you can as you go along so the best that I could do here was literally when the old radiator was took off, I stripped and prepped behind it and then gave it a coat of white because like I say at the time, the colour wasn't chose for the wall. This is what I mean by painting the bracket in. And as you can see here, we've managed to get all the way down there, so I'm really happy with that. Now we've gave it two coats, we're able to start putting this radiator back together. And then lastly, not forgetting to put the thermostat valve back on. And here it is all finished. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you can get notified of when I release my next video. Remember it is free. Also if you want to leave a comment in the comment section please do so because that's how we all learn and grow. Thank you very much for watching and take care.